Hey all, here are OS Reviews. You're watching our hands-on review of the Freedom Fox Y8. This is a mini spy camera that's disguised in the form of a Bluetooth speaker, which I think is really clever because the speaker also works. So you can connect it by Bluetooth to a smartphone to play some music, but it can also just discreetly sit somewhere and record content through a small camera lens. You can connect using Wi-Fi to have a live stream or a live view of what you're looking at, and it also has a rotating head, so the speaker compartment can rotate, so you can pan and tilt a little bit to see your surroundings better. So it's definitely not cheap, but could be an interesting option if you want something that's really discreet people probably won't pick up on, and it's in a very new form factor that we've also not seen before. In the box we have a quick user manual printed in color, and we've got the hidden camera speaker itself, and then a smaller compartment which contains the charging cable, including a wall plug, which is a nice little extra bonus we don't tend to see a lot of these days. It uses a full-size USB, and then the cable itself has a pretty long length, so you can leave it plugged in and just recording when you're at home without unplugging it from power. And there's also a spare kind of micro SD card reader to USB. All right, so here's the speaker itself. There's actually a little sticker that says remove this before use. And the one thing I will point out though is this is a lot larger than what I was expecting. It seems more like kind of a home stereo mini speaker than something that's really a small Bluetooth speaker. As you can see their smartphone here, which this has a 5.5 inch screen, you can see that this uh, speaker here is also going to be quite a bit larger. The speaker itself is made entirely out of plastic, including the chrome accents here. We have the grill on the top there just for the sound. And on the base here is where we have a dedicated power switch. There's also the mini USB used for charging as opposed to micro USBs. Although if we looked really closely against kind of this transparent plastic center is where we can kind of see the camera lens there. But if someone isn't really looking closely or if they're just a few feet away, it is very much hidden from view. On the base, there's soft touch rubber feet that prevents it from sliding around, and a door where you can access the rechargeable built-in battery, uh, and physically turning this on and off, as well as uh, putting in the micro SD card, which is not included. It supports cards up to 64 gigs if you want to record content directly onto the unit. So with this 3000 milliamp hour battery, it's able to still record for an hour or two, play back some music without being plugged into the wall at all times. Uh, in terms of the speaker, it does actually work, so if you just hold the, the button here for power for a few seconds, you can see the LED here starts to flash. Bluetooth. The name of the device under Bluetooth is called Bluetooth Music, so very generic. We simply tap on it to connect, and afterwards we can play back a sample track here on YouTube and try it out. And the quality actually isn't bad. As I play and pause the track, there's not too much static or distortion, and it gets surprisingly loud. We were at 80% volume there, and you can tell that the drivers here are actually quite large in terms of diameter, so it fills up this entire small room without too many issues. It doesn't really pack too much punch in terms of bass. Again, it really isn't meant as a speaker. It's more of a spy camera disguised in the form of a speaker, but the point is the quality of the sound is better than what I was expecting. And we can then open up the app, which is called HD Mini Cam. This is a generic app that we've seen on other kind of spy cameras as well, but uh, after you open up the application here, it should show up as a camera once you're connected. But essentially, you can connect to it directly using Wi-Fi, so right now if we just exit into this main menu, we can already see it online because we're just connected to it immediately. But if we want to use it like a regular home security camera or an IP camera, by connecting the camera itself to our home's router so that wherever we are in the world, we can still see it as long as uh, we have internet on our phone, you can set up the Wi-Fi password from your router by tapping on manual or set up Wi-Fi connection. The interface itself allows you to add multiple cameras, which you can view, and over here on the bottom is where you can take a look at either your live footage, snapshots of images that you want to take, as well as videos that you've been recording. So let's take a closer look at our camera right now. We have now a live view of what the camera is looking at. 
And we can also change things like the white balance, the brightness level, and the resolution. It goes all the way up to full HD, but that takes more bandwidth, so if your internet connection is slow, you may want to just leave it at 720p, for example. Now, this particular camera does also have an infrared light mode, so if you turn that on uh, kind of manually here, you can actually go into kind of a black and white footage uh, when you are looking at content uh, at night. Down below here is where we can either mute the microphone, begin recording a video, take a snapshot or an image, which will be saved, as well as kind of pan around and kind of move the footage. You can see that it actually is really moving along here as I'm just sliding around with my fingers. Uh, so it actually is working really quite well. And the motor is completely silent. So you can listen right now. There's essentially no noise, even if I put this over here to the camera and try and move it around with the kind of motor. So you can see a fair amount of uh, what's in your room, even when it's maybe sitting in a corner. I would say the field of view is roughly 100 degrees or so. It's not quite as dramatic or super fisheye-like as on some other home security cams we've checked out in the past. But luckily, because of the pan and tilt, you really don't need a super wide-angle lens because you, essentially you're able to see 360 degrees just by kind of tilting and moving the camera lens yourself, as you can see there. Um, so that also works quite well. And here we are back onto the desk with uh, most of the lights dimmed into the room and we have the night vision mode activated once again. You can see just how clear everything is, almost like daytime. So that's more or less it as far as our hands-on review of this mini spy camera that's disguised in the form of a Bluetooth speaker. It works a lot better than expected. There is the 360 degree motor for pan and tilt, which is a function that you I really don't get in any other model of a spy camera that I've seen, so it really is unique here and improves the functionality a lot. So here's a regular pan and tilt camera, and you can tell that the size is virtually the same as on this Bluetooth model here, which has more features. But it's also easier now to see why the size is also larger than, say, a regular mini Bluetooth speaker, <laughs> because they have to pack in a lot more, including that motor, including that camera. Um, and against other security cameras, you can see the size is very much comparable. You can check out more details in the links down below, but for now, that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. That's been the Freedom Fox Pan and Tilt Bluetooth speaker spy camera.